I didn't plan not to have my legs, but it's like I'm not gonna sit here and just like cry or be depressed. I mean, there are days when you're down, but I mean, there's plenty of days you can get up, walk, I, I can get up and walk right out of here. <laughs> I went to Baltimore Lutheran for high school. Um, but then college, I went to Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. 1998, um, it was like, I came home, I was, in, I was in medical school. I came home from my Christmas break, and um, I went out with some buddies, and um, I started feeling really sick. I got up, and I was walking out the bathroom, and I got to the hallway, and I just collapsed. My mother and father, they took me to the hospital, um, and then they, uh, they did like a whole bunch of tests. They actually put me in isolation because they found out that I had bacterial meningitis. They actually told my mother I had like a 40% chance of uh, like passing because I had like, like really, really bad meningitis in my legs. And they actually became gangrenous. They were like poking and pushing and I couldn't feel anything on my toes. Like, this all happened over four days. They took me to the operating room and they, then they amputated my legs. And the thing was, I sat in that bed for like two days and I actually didn't know that, that I didn't lose my legs because like when you lose your legs, you have total feeling. Will lost both of his legs below the knee, but he never lost his positive outlook. His faith and the support of his family and friends were the first steps on the road to recovery, a road that led him to real life prosthetics. You have to have faith and hope, because um, you don't plan to have, to have an amputation. Like sometimes you might know that you're gonna get an amputation, but it's not something that you, you plan for. I mean, first of all, you, you have to accept it, and then uh, you have to realize there's something that you, you can do. Will has made great strides in his rehabilitation as the team at Real Life Prosthetics equip him to lead a normal, active life. I play golf like once a week. Yeah, I play basketball with my little niece. I, don't, I mean, I, don't, I, can't run, I can't run up and down the basketball court like I used to. I still go out and play, shoot around with my little niece, play basketball with her. With his illness behind him, Will has completed his education and is beginning his career as a pediatrician. The patient is now the doctor. I work at Harlem Hospital in uh, New York City and doing pediatrics right now. Like, I like working with my staff. It's a rewarding experience to get to help with little kids. Will's story is inspiring to those who face similar adversity, a testament to the ability to overcome trials with courage and move forward with confidence. I mean, there are setbacks, but I mean, I'm walking around doing what I want to do. 